Instant Blocking, or IB for short, is a powerful mechanic in Guilty Gear Strive. Done at the right time, you can not only get out of an opponent's pressure sequence, but interrupt them and start your own. In this video, I'm going to teach you how you- Okay, now try doing a instant block against a high level player that is trying to mix you up. Do that- I'm not talking about risk versus reward, block. I'm saying it is simply you not realistic no to expect to get it at any <laughs> level of play. The window it's cool to watch tech videos so of how instant block can influence the game in Strat. Why do you turn off your inputs? You're doing IVs perfectly every time you demonstrate- Area 51 has spawned more conspiracy theories than perhaps any other military facility in the world. Area 51 is a- Stop, stop! Folks. I can help you! Instant blocking is definitely not easy, but they still happen all the time in tournaments. I think people don't know how top level players are actually doing them, and how to practice it properly in training mode. Here are three things I want to share that will help you learn how to correctly do instant blocks and implement them in your game. First, instant blocking does not literally mean instant blocking. A lot of players think I being is more dangerous to do than it is because you have to tap block at the exact instant an attack lands, so if you screw up, you get hit. Pro players do not instant block like this, and they actually miss more IBs than you think. You do not need to tap it back to block at the moment a move lands. You just need to start holding the back button a little bit before the opponent's attack connects. If you're too early, no harm done. You still get a normal block. Once you start instant blocking safely like this, you can keep going for them because you know that even if you screw up, you can still block the incoming attack. The second thing you should know about instant blocking is that you aren't trying to IB everything. Instead, you're trying to instant block a specific move in a specific sequence, so you can either get a punish or reliably push an opponent out on defense. In general, good IB opportunities are found where the opponent has few cancel options within a tight cancel window. For example, Axel players love using the 2k into 2d Gatling. Your goal isn't to IB the Axel running up with 2k, you're specifically looking to IB 2d for a punish. This is a great spot to IB because the cancel window on 2k is short, so we can't do it any faster or later. This means that you can hold back to block on the same timing after 2k, and you'll consistently get an instant block. For a list of good instant blocks you should be aiming for, check out Top Zato player Jonathan Tenney's video where he goes over what you can look for against every character. Link in the description down below. The third and final thing you should know is how to practice IBs in training mode. When you practice IBs, does your playback recording look like this? Don't get jump scared by your training dummy! Make sure your playback recording is short and clean, and give yourself a visual cue so you know when to expect the sequence to start. What I like to do is have my recording jump, and then do an attack immediately on landing. These are three key things that you should know about doing and practicing instant blocks. I hope this helps you land those crucial IBs in your match. Let me know if this helped, and feel free to ask any more questions in the comments below. If you're looking for more guides, check out the playlist in the video description as well. This is Remy, signing off.